What's up guys, I'm Rahul Sethi, you're watching India Today Tech and information about OnePlus 7 has just arrived. I mean OnePlus just finished launching the OnePlus 60 and we recently unboxed the OnePlus 60 Thunder Purple. What a stunning phone and what a stunning color that is. But we're looking at OnePlus 7 now, the renders have started arriving. In fact, the leak that we just came across is the Oppo R19. But like father, like son, OnePlus smartphones have been very similar to the Oppo R series smartphones. This render posted online shows that OnePlus will have a dot for the front camera. There will be no notch and the whole of the front will have the display. I mean, almost there are negligible bezels and the design is very close to that of a full screen smartphone. The design is unique in its own sense. I mean, the notch is now gone completely. There are no sliders, there are no camera pop-ups and you just get full display with just a small dot at the center top location. And it's not only OnePlus that is set to come up with this design next year. Samsung is experimenting with this on the Galaxy S10 and many renders reveal that this is what the design will be of the next Galaxy smartphone. So finally, we may get freedom from the notch and this is a design trend we might see coming up in 2019. There's one more thing about the OnePlus 7. It will come in three variants next year. OnePlus 7 that will be announced in March, OnePlus 7T that is expected in November and a OnePlus 7 5G variant placed between the two. Now the question that may come to your mind is why not make the OnePlus 7 5G ready? Why a separate variant for that? And to find that out, let's take a look at what the Snapdragon 855 is all about that will power the OnePlus 7. The Snapdragon 855 will be made on a 7 nanometer scale. The X50 is made on a 10 nanometer scale. So to it just that, Qualcomm is making a fusion platform where it can keep both the chip and the modem. But smartphone makers will have an option to not choose the X10 modem and use the 855 instead. What that means is that OnePlus can use just the 855 chip and pair it with a basic 4G modem to give it 4G capability and save some money, which means a more expensive 5G variant. And OnePlus is not the only company that would be doing that. I mean, Samsung is also set to bring out a Galaxy S10 and a Galaxy S10 5G, two separate variants. And that kind of makes sense because in so many markets, including India, 5G is not going to roll out pretty soon. Now, if we talk about the specs, apart from Snapdragon 855, there are going to be some more improvements and specifically to the cameras. The OnePlus 70 is expected to have a triple camera at the back with a 12 megapixel primary sensor and the third one being given an 8 megapixel sensor. It could be an ultra wide or a telephoto camera. At the front, the phone is said to have a 24 megapixel camera. It will house a bigger battery paired to fast OnePlus dash charging will have a Super AMOLED display at the front and an in-display fingerprint scanner like the OnePlus 60. So this is all we know about the OnePlus 7 right now, but it tells us a lot of things about smartphones coming in 2019. I mean, it is going to be a notch-free year. And we also may see getting separate variants of 5G smartphones getting launched alongside their 4G variants. Of course, there is going to be a price hike when it comes to 5G smartphones and we'll have to wait and watch how that is going to change the market. Do let us know what you think about the OnePlus 7 in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos on technology, smartphones and other gadgets like this. Thank you for watching.